Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tom again. Sorry I missed you last week. I was on vacation with my family, having a little too much fun uh, seeing karaoke and drinking beers on the beach, so I didn't get around to making a video. Uh, I just got home from a uh, happy hour from work. I just have a few minutes here to talk to you guys about my uh, garage gym. So, something that's on my uh, list of things to show you guys. So, just wanted to uh, walk you through the uh, garage gym that I have set up here. So in 2009, uh, my wife and I got our CrossFit uh, Level 1 certifications. So it was early on, actually, we were the first class to do uh, the certification, uh, the accredited certification where we actually had to take a test. So that was in Atlanta. Um, since then, we have found uh, the, the passion for it. Actually, here comes uh, our, uh, our main clients here that uh, work out. We're just making a little YouTube video here, guys. So make sure you like it, Brett. So over here, we have our, uh, our bars and um, actually... This bar right here was purchased from uh, the games on the used uh, site for, from Rogue. And uh, our whiteboard, of course, uh, PVC pipes, which these guys are uh, about to use here. This timing was not, uh, was not intended. It came early. Um, and we have our boxes here. So I made those boxes out of uh, scrap uh, two by eights and uh, um, some plywood laying around the uh, construction site here. Also, the squat rack is uh, made out of wood, which is uh, probably relatively uncommon. We also have another set of uh, squat racks, the metal ones here, that my dad and I uh, fabricated uh, a few years ago. So another bar from, uh, from the, what, 2010, 2011 games, I forget which one. So that's the one we use. An Airdyne from uh, Craigslist, bought that off of a guy named uh, Yitz Gordon in Squirrel Hill. So a uh, absolute torture device and all of our bumper plates. So some of these are from the 2009 uh, CrossFit sectionals that I participate, that I competed in. I did not win um, or uh, do very well, but I still did it. Early on whenever CrossFit still used to have sectionals. Uh, dumbbells from uh, Craigslist here in Pittsburgh, ab mats, wall balls, and, uh, and that's about it. So we uh, also outside have uh, our pull-up bar, two sets of rings, and uh, an area to run. So, overall, that's about all you need to uh, to do some fitness. The, my friends who just walked in have been working out here for four years, and their uh, strength and uh, conditioning is uh, continually improving. Um, my level one has expired, so I'm no longer tied to uh, CrossFit. We're certainly using methodologies that I've learned from there, but and doing our own programming and, and getting these guys fit and uh, ready for life. So they've been sticking with it for four years and uh, I also do uh, CrossFit training at a, a CrossFit gym uh, by my work. So sorry I missed you guys last week and uh, I'll be back again next week with uh, who knows what, but it will be interested. Um, hope you guys are liking these videos. Make sure you like and subscribe.